This video chat presentation of Saturn Minerals Inc. brought to you by AllPennyStocks.com. Saturn Minerals trades on the Toronto Venture Exchange on the ticker SMI. This is a pretty interesting chart. Put itself together a real nice climb over the last year. This is actually a nine-month chart. You can see from down here around $0.08 cents all the way up to $0.28. Cents. Even peaked out near $0.50. Cents. Had kind of a tough day yesterday. Of course, the markets are just getting pummeled at the moment. But overall, though, these bottoms are still trying to make higher highs. Picks up some pretty good support down here around $0.26. Cents. So you got the MACD starting to try and trend upward back towards zero, holding right around the money line right now. Same way with the PPO. That downward movement yesterday, of course, snapped this positive DI back downward a little bit, started to turn the negative DI. But overall, relatively neutral, but leaning towards the bullish side of things is the ADX at this point. MFIs were trending upward pretty strong. Of course, yesterday turned them all down a little bit. Still trying to hold that 50 marker. Accumulation distributions basically found a flat line for several months. Just pay attention, see if it's going to break out of this channel it's in on the lower side of the channel right now. A bit of a concern if it starts making lower lows, you really don't want to see it tapering off too much. But of course, it's going to tie in with support and resistance. Shaking money flow, trying to make some higher highs. CCI was trying to break to the upper half, of course, turned down yesterday. Full stow does show some pretty decent momentum trying to come into the play. Tricks also trying to make an upward trend, it looks like, trying to hold around zero. Just want to note that downward channel right through there. If this does try and continue upward, I want to see it break through that line, see if it can get back up near these levels, put some real strength to it. RSI's had a nice trend going into yesterday. Indicators kind of have a long-term bullish look to them. But you see in the downturns right here because of yesterday's downward movement, only closed down 3%. That's just something to keep an eye on. What I see in this is this is what I was talking about, the higher lows through there, still holding the 50-day moving average, which is registering a 28 which I'm not scaled in close enough. It looks like this stock actually closed about 28 and a half, even though it's only registering a 28. So still holding slightly over top of the 50 day, which is a good thing to see. I'll pull that trend line off. That's just to make a point in the short term. What I see in this is some pretty good support right here through this 26 cent mark, all the way down to 26, up to 26 and a half. I'd really like to see it hold the 26 and a half. A dip to 26 will be a bit of a concern because it's a short term support level, and I don't really want to see it fall through that. If it does, the odds of it possibly coming down here and testing this 200-day, I think, are greatly increased. It will pick up some more support at a couple different levels, right down here around 21 cents, and then again a little bit more right here around 23 cents. So the odds of it testing this lower level are pretty good if it can't hold 26 and a half. On the upside, in the short term, I'll be looking forward to break through 30. It's a pretty strong resistance level through here. Finally busted through it, but only held it for a couple days, slipped right back down showing that it is a strong resistance, hasn't been able to get back above it. So that's going to be a key spot for me. I'm going to want to see it close above that with some strength, not this black candle, which is actually a down day, although it closed higher than the previous day. I want to see it close at the upper end of the day, show some real strength coming into it. 53,000 shares traded. I'd like to see a little bit more volume, but that's about average for this stock. So I'd like to see a volume spike to see if it's going to try and push on 30 or not. Above that, I'll certainly look forward to make a new short-term high right here around 32 and a half cents. Again, going to be pretty strong resistance. You can see not only couldn't it make it through it here, it was a pretty good support level back earlier on in the year. So there's a couple key components to this chart. I'll throw these on there real quick because what I'll be looking for is something just along these lines. Some sort of channel to be established where it's continuing to make the higher lows and starts to make the higher highs. If that happens, we will see these indicators continue to push themselves into a bullish fashion and develop some true upward channels. So it's a very interesting chart where it sits. It might pull back a little bit more, but if it does, it's going to fall on some pretty strong support levels, and those are what I'd be keying on to see if they're going to hold or not. A great technical chart to watch in the coming days and perhaps weeks, and we'll see where it goes from here. As always, it's merely my interpretation of the Saturn Minerals chart. I'm not a financial consultant. I strongly encourage you to do your own property due diligence and call a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. Do not base any investment decisions upon any material found on the website and or this video chart. No person employed by All Penny Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.